we all understand? Can I hear it? Yes. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're well. Welcome to our three event press conference for our FA Cup match against Wickham Wanderers on Monday night. Uh, as you always, we'll start with broadcast questions. Please raise your hand if you do have a question, which we will start with Gary Cottrell. After that, we'll move on to the written section, which is in Barlow until 10.30 p.m. on Monday. As usual, no live streaming or tweeting during the press conference itself. Gary, we'll come to you first. Hello, Jose. Gary. Could I get some uh, team news? Is there any uh, new injury concerns at all? You know, the, the injured that has no doubts about playing, not playing, is, of course, you know, also still has still has a few more weeks. A part of that, we are speaking only about uh, small injuries, question marks, doubts. And in that little group, we have two or three players with, uh, with small problems that I'm not sure that they can play the match on, on Monday. Can you say who they are at all? Yeah, uh, Matt Doherty. Uh, he was not involved um, in Sheffield. I'm not sure that he will recover. Uh, Dele Alli, um not training in the last couple of days. Uh, small problem in in the tendon, but uh, not sure that he that he can. Uh, Serge Aurier also not really really well. We have a few, but um, out out that I can't say in this moment. Still three days before the match, we never normally do press conference three days before the match, but three days before the match, the only one that I can say completely out is, is Gio. Uh, thank you. You mentioned there that uh, Delhi obviously may may not be involved uh, for that reason on Monday. Um, I just wanted to ask whether you thought um, what you were saying last week about Tangi and Dumbele, um listening to the advice that he needed to change some things, is he an example for Delhi? Would you say? No, I don't like to go in that in that direction. I was speaking specifically about about Tangi, and um, I don't remember if the question was from you or from another colleague. But I didn't want to accept any responsibility in the change. That's the way I I look at things. Um, we are an external source of motivation the the real source of motivation is the player it, himself uh, and i was speaking of course in a very happy way about tangi uh, transformation transformation and the way he's, he's playing last night um liverpool's uh, unbeaten home league run came to an end your record over two periods at stamford bridge back to back 77 is safe Obviously, 150 across four clubs at the start of your career unbeaten in the league at home. Do you think that kind of record, that those two that you've got, can ever be broken? You know, the records are there to be, to be broken. Even the most incredible ones uh, in, so many, in so many sports. Um, but there are some records that are you, you look to them and you feel that... Uh, it's almost impossible that somebody to to do it. And honestly, what Liverpool did was amazing. Uh, what they did is very, very difficult to uh, to achieve. And of course, our record from uh, the Chelsea time is still is still the record, and is very, very difficult to for somebody to to do better than uh, than that. But congratulations to to Liverpool for. Uh, uh, the amazing run that they that they had by not losing a, a Premier League match at home for so long. Just one final one from me. Um, some talk about Jedson, some movement perhaps on his situation. Torino, it's being reported, maybe interested to take him on loan. Do you, do you know anything about this? No, we don't speak with other clubs, of course, because the player is not our player. We speak with Benfica. And uh, since the moment uh, where... Um, we felt that we were not given, we were not given to Jetson uh, the possibilities of, of playing many, many matches and being out of uh, Europa League list. We felt that we didn't have the right 
and to keep him. Uh, if he stays, great, is another option for us. And every time he plays his beats, he does always well for us. So it would never be a problem to have him. But we never felt uh, the right to keep a player that is not our player and is not playing as much as they would uh, they would like. So if there is anything between us and Benfica, yes, it is. Um, Benfica knows that we are open to collaborate with the, to cooperate with a with a friendly club like uh, like they are. But if there is any other club uh, involved where um, Benfica can make a move with Jetson, that I cannot confirm because honestly, I don't know. Okay, thanks, Gary. Moose, I think you did want questions, but you haven't raised your hand. Do you want <coughs> questions? Nod if yes, and unmute yourself. Please raise your hand in future. Thank you. Finish. No, you wish. Sorry. Sorry, Simon, I, I texted you earlier. I thought that was me raising my hand. No problem. Um, I'm here, I forget. Okay. Thank Jose, into, into, into one cup final already. How important is it that you keep the momentum going in the cup competitions? Because obviously players are going to need game time. I taking Wickham as seriously as you did Marine and getting through in the FA Cup. You know, with, with all the respect to, to Marine, uh, Wickham is a different level. Is a more difficult challenge. What we did well against Marine is not enough to win against uh, Wickham. They are a different level, of course. They are fully professionals like we are. They are talented people. And they have ambitions. They want to, to compete. Um, we need more. We need more than, than we gave against... Uh, Marine, with all the professionalism, the boys behaved there, but we need we need more because the game is is going to be more difficult. In terms of big teams, I mean, we've seen Liverpool lose last night and, and stutter in recent weeks. Likewise with Chelsea, Spurs have had a, a couple of results which have not not really gone against them. They've just, you've had a lead, but you haven't gone on to win the game. But you haven't really had that that bad run yet. Why are teams having bad runs? Do you think? across all competitions. Is it because of the amount of games they're having to play? I mean, is, it, is this season beginning to take its toll on the players? I, 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 would also, I would also say that we had a period where uh, we could have more points than, than we had. Um, we lost two matches. We, we drew also uh, a couple in, in that period. So I would say that almost every club is having this difficult period, I would, I, would, I would also give responsibility to opponents. Uh, I, I keep saying that uh, what was almost a scandal years ago is not a scandal anymore. Um, any team can go to any stadium and get, and get a result. Uh, for me, that's, that's clearly a situation that people cannot underestimate and people sometimes the teams potentially considered with um, with less potential is not like that as much like before and 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 these clubs and these professionals they also deserve the uh, the credit so i i don't open my mouth anymore of uh, wow what uh, what a crazy result no more crazy results so i feel it I feel it quite normal that every team, even the ones uh, that um, the objective is to stay champion or top four or top six, I'm not surprised if these teams, they have a run of a few matches where confidence drops a little bit as consequence of a couple of bad results. And then um, you pay with, with a few bad results. But the reality is that uh, nothing is eternal. Uh, not the consecutive victories and not the consecutive defeats and always the next match and the next and the next are, uh, are open matches with open results. Well, finally, the next match could be a good opportunity again for Carlos Vinicius who's got a hat-trick in the last round of the FA Cup. You are also being linked with, with another striker in, in Danny Ings. I mean, are you still looking to add to your, your forward attacking um, options at, at Spurs? Uh, look, let's go bit by bit. Um, two strikers. We are not a team 
that needs a third striker because the third striker is Sony. Uh, so we don't need more than than two. Of course, we have the best. Uh, we are happy with Carlos. Carlos is not our player. He's a Benfica player. But he's a player that we are helping to, to develop and he's helping the team when um, he's asked for. So we are happy with the situation. Uh, Ings, of course, I refuse totally to say any word about him because he's a, a Southampton player and I respect that. Okay, four people with hands up. I will try to get to all of you. George, we'll start with you. Thanks, Simon. Hello, Jose. Um, you mentioned your best strikers. Will they play on Monday considering you play three days later against Liverpool? It's a very difficult game. Uh, it's not easy. It's not easy game. We, we of course, we want to to make a few changes, but because it's natural, because as you say, we have match after match after match, and um, also because some other players they deserve the chance to play, and some of them they deserve the opportunity to to show why they are not happy when they they don't they don't play. So yes, we are going to make some changes, but yes, we go with uh, with the whole group because we know that we have a difficult match and we don't want to throw away any competition. If uh, we lose a competition, if we are knocked out of of, of some competition, it has to be because we were not uh, good enough, uh, not because we didn't face the game with uh, with the respect. Um, and just the last one from me, you know Roman Abramovich really well. Do you think they'll stick with Frank Lampard? He's under a lot of pressure at the moment. No, that's not my problem at all. Jerry Cox, I'm coming to you. Hi, Jose. Hello. Um, four years ago, Wickham were within a minute or two of beating Spurs in the FA Cup. I think there were two injury time goals by Spurs that won it. And uh, five or six of your players were in that squad. Will those players, you know, Eric Dyer, Ben Davis, will they be telling the others the importance of taking this game seriously and not underestimating the opposition? You know, five or six of us and also five or six of them. So they also have in, in that team five or six players that, uh, that were playing. And of course, um, they also had that uh, great experience uh, for them. Yes, I believe that uh, the players can can share uh, feelings and emotions with with the others is also our responsibility to to analyze the opponent and to analyze the opponent is also to show our players uh, what they were capable to do uh, against us uh, so yes i think that game is is a good game to be to be analyzed and discussed uh, because uh, Tottenham was really, really close to, to be knocked out from, from Wickham at that time. Okay. So we'll do one more each from Ellie Gold and then Jonathan Veal. Ellie first. Hey there, Jose. Um, you mentioned about Jensen and not being able to fit him into your European squad. Uh, and obviously we know there's others. Paolo Gazzaniga can't get in and Joe Roden still has to be fitted in. That kind of amount of foreign players and being over the limit, how much of a problem has that proved to be in the transfer window as well in terms of maybe bringing people in or, or letting people go? And is it something you have to fix in the summer? You know, it's... Uh, I'm not even thinking of repercussions in relation to the to the transfer window. Um, but the reality is that it uh, was not easy to to let Gazaniga out, uh, but no other option. Um, would be great for Joe Roden uh, development to have the chance to play Europa League. We played already nine matches in Europa League. And if Joe uh, was available to play these nine matches, he would play for sure three, four, five, six of them and would help, of course, in his development and, and ad adaptation. So it's not an easy situation. Then uh, how can you have um, more, um, more English players? English players from the academy. And then uh, you have basically to try to help the academy, but at the same time you depend 
on their work. You depend on generation. You depend on on talent. And um, and honestly, I don't know if I should say it or no, but uh, the players that I feel more talented in in the academy are uh, are not the um, the eldest ones. Are very young. Um, we are speaking about kids of 16 year old. We are not speaking about kids of 18, 19, uh, let's say men uh, that just need the less push. Uh, I feel that the the biggest talents are very, very young. Of course, we have to to help in that development in collaboration with with the academy, but we have to wait a little a little bit more. English players from other clubs, um, they want to keep them. <laughs> they want to keep them because normally all of them, they have the same, the same kind of problems, or potentially they have the same kind of problems. So it's not easy. It's not easy situation, and clearly it's not a situation that you can resolve in one um, in one season. is is not possible. Hey, Jonathan, with the last one, then we'll move to the returns. Jonathan. Okay, okay. That, that injury you mentioned about Delhi, is that the reason why he didn't play last week at Sheffield? Uh, and also, do you think he'll still be at the club after the transfer window shuts? The reason why he didn't play or he was not selected for uh, for Sheffield is, is everything in relation with this um, injury that he, that he has, which is not the kind of injury that will keep him out for weeks and weeks like, like Gio, but he's... Uh, is an injury that doesn't allow him to train uh, fully with the uh, with the team, and like happened in in the last cup, couple of days, no chance for him even to uh, to train. So that's the situation for now. Okay, move on to the written section. Zimbabwe till ten thirty tonight. Uh, Paul Jiggins will get started with you. Paul, I've just unmuted oh. you. 